We will fix the injustice of care home funding. We will fix the crisis in social care once and for all with a clear plan we have prepared. Two years since this promise, ten years since the Dilnot report on reforming social care and today another delay. A key meeting between the Prime Minister, Health Secretary and Chancellor called off. With post-pandemic costs mounting across the board, the man behind that original blueprint a decade ago is frustrated. I think it's a stain on our nation. We're talking about the well-being of the most vulnerable people in our society and their families. There are one and a half million people working in social care, as many as in the NHS now feels like the time, and I do think that COVID has shone a particularly harsh light on the arrangements in the social care sector. Sandra, oh, well done. So what might the plan look like? A cap on how much of our own money we have to spend on care is likely, and better training for staff is also being discussed. Private insurance could be on the table too, government sources say. But the big question looms, how do we pay the £10 billion bill? The government has to uh, admit, and, and we all have to admit, that the reason why successive governments have failed to address this is that we have to spend more on social care. That money has to come from somewhere. I think a, a mixed approach to finding that funding, partly taxation, partly private contributions, is the sensible way to do it. But it does need significant extra money. There is no way of disguising that. And while politicians in Westminster debate, it's the NHS and our parents and grandparents in care homes like this one in West Yorkshire who suffer. There are four million people who are caring for people in this country. We need reform, we need it now, but it's false economy. What bit of this don't they understand? If there is no social care, people will deteriorate longer at home, they will require more home care, more district nurses, more chiropody, everything. It's false economy. Beds will be blocked. We just do not have the capacity without social care surviving. Boris Johnson knows he has to deliver on his very public promise, but the scale of the challenge is overwhelming. A cap on contributions rather than more fundamental reform will solve some, but not all, of the issues. But experts fear we still haven't answered the question. What kind of life should we be providing for older people in the years to come? Kate McCann, Sky News.